17, 2022, the time in being 5.30. So uh, do we have a roll call? Present. Here. 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 Present. Here. Present. We have a quorum. And uh, do we have a motion to excuse absent members? I make a motion we excuse our absent board members. Second. Commission members. It's been moved and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against. It's aye. Motion carries. Item two, administrative, the approval of minutes for December 20th, 2021, regular meeting. Do we have a motion? I entertain a motion for approval. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Been moved and second. The approval of the minutes. Any discussion? Now, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against, same sign. Motion carries. Item B revenues and expense expenditures report for the month of November 2021. Mike. Good evening, gentlemen. The revenue and expenditure report for November of 2021, revenues of $118,712 against a expenditures of 123,971. For the two months of this physical year, we're still showing a positive variance of $15,984. Um, in particular, Looking at November of last year to this year, we're basically about $30,000 above uh, revenue from November of 2021. One, of course, I'm sorry, November of 2020. And uh, that's basically attributable to um, everything across the board, green fees, uh, green fees and card fees, and also our green fee packages that we've been selling that uh, for the winter Texans. That's good. But did you identify yourself for the record, Mike? Uh, yes, Michael Fernick, uh, golf course manager, Tierra okay. del Sol. Are there any questions about the revenue report? Expenditures. Well, it looks better than uh, last year, that's for sure, as far as the revenues are concerned. Yes. And uh, the expenditures were a little lower, so... Uh, we did good in November. I do have a question actually. Go ahead. Mike, what are your preliminary returns for December? Um, preliminary returns for December, you'll be sure. Um, I was I was surprised they're roughly, um, revenue wise, roughly the same. We're gonna hit, we should- we, As November? As November. Oh good. It's, it's oh. I mean- We went down uh, uh, bad weather days? We didn't have too many bad weather days in no, December. No, I mean revenue-wise, so on we did, but we didn't compared to you know compared to December of last year. Okay. Not really, no, no. But revenue overall revenue, um, it was it's going to be you it's going to be um, you're going to be mildly surprised. Good. That's all right. Okay. Do we have a motion for approval of the revenues and expenses in November? To make a motion that we approve. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Has been moved and second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, same sign. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Item C is the status report on golf course renovation project. Thank you, Jim. Um, what I was going to do is have this uh, part of our executive session that I wanted to discuss this in the back, but it turns out that um, we're having an issue with our architect that we had contracted out and um, we're having an issue trying to come to an agreement so um, unless there's no agreement um, we're gonna have to do something else as far as changing or doing whatever we need to do with the with the architect so um, uh, I'm afraid I don't have any uh, any information regarding that um, 
renovation of the project because of that. Uh, and we're having, planning on having a complete report, but turns out that um, we don't have that. So unless you have any questions or anything else, um, you know, I'm afraid we don't have item C to discuss at this point. We are going forward with the project. I mean, it's something that is going to happen. But the first thing was uh, getting uh, the architect on board and giving us a preliminary report on what we're going to do. But it um, turns out that we didn't get to that point yet. Mr. Mr. Chairman, yes, sir. Uh, have we looked at uh, alternative uh, architects or are we stuck on? No, we're going to look at alternative architects as well. So. We didn't think we we're going to have to have, have that issue, but it turns out that uh, unless we can come with uh, come to an agreement with the current architect we were talking to, um, we're going to move forward. If not, uh, we are going to be looking at somebody else. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I I know that, and just to uh, add on to that, that they've actually given him a, a timeline, and he's supposed to come up with some sort of response by tomorrow. So hopefully that really initial, we have to finish or complete our uh, discussion with that particular person and then we can go ahead and send out, you know, so that that hopefully will be addressed um, by the end of the week as far as this next person, if they're going to be in agreement on on the percentage. Once that happens, then you'll be able to open up um, or continue, you know, so that's that will end, end result of that. Mr. Chairman, yeah. in light of that, is there... Let's say we do come. The city does come to an agreement with, with the architect. Is it possible for us to have like an emergency meeting to go ahead and make our recommendations, or do we need to even do that? If when you have any, has a, if you have any has, rec recommendations, you mean about an architect? No, sir. About but going ahead. Oh yeah, no. We what's going to happen is that the architect will design uh, the golf course. Uh, and then we will look at the project and then we will make our recommendations as what we need to change or approve or whatever it is. That's what I was planning on having before the board is uh, to have all the information first. So then we can put get some input from everybody. But we want we want to make sure that that he gives us a preliminary uh, recommendation being that he's an architect golf course uh, architect. And that's all he does. So that's why we wanted to first get a preliminary um, plan. What his recommendation was as far as what our course would would work look like and how we could improve it, and then we have our in it, our own input onto it. Well, is it uh, again? Do you need input from the board once the city decides that they're going to go ahead with the architect? So that the only reason I'm, I'm saying this is so we can make, move things along as quickly as possible so that we can be ready for our winter uh, yeah. uh, play in, in October or November. Yeah. Or Mr. Chairman, if I may add, I believe um, the issue that was pending with that potential architect was resolved um, this afternoon. Okay. After city commission, um, I went back to my desk and I believe we've reached an under understanding and um, Mr. Wiley is close to finalizing an agreement okay. with that architect. Um, so hopefully we will actually have something like um, Mr. Liscano mentioned. It was supposed to be, I think, the decision tomorrow, but I think we reached the agreement already this afternoon. Okay. Go ahead and identify yourself so we can. I'm have sorry, Patricia Ring needs to the attorney. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. She has the latest information. So I guess what we're going to do is, is uh, once once we get with the architect and our next meeting, we'll have a preliminary plan. And then, that includes uh, clubhouse, everything. This no, this is this, this is this is the golf course. This is golf course. Okay. And so is it course. still on schedule? Well, that since it took so long, I don't know if we're going to be able to have it on schedule as far as what the plan was because we wanted to make sure. Uh, Mike, was it April when we were planning on having it shut down? So I don't know if that timeline is going to be. So I don't know if that plan's going to be planning out, being that it got delayed. So um, we'll we'll find out for sure by next meeting. We'll we'll, we'll find out. Do, Mr. Chairman, do you want to have any additional meetings this month, just in 
um, if, if, the if, there's, if there's a need for us to, to have a meeting, I'll call a meeting, to uh, uh, an emergency meeting. If not, then we'll wait until our next regular meeting. So okay. Let's get okay. But we'll, you guys will be in, involved as far as uh, uh, what the final product would be. We'll have input from all of you. Okay. Mr. Sherman, so the architect, just to be to get it correct, is really just the preliminary step. His job, once we get him contracted, is to do the plans and then go off for bits as to who's going to do the actual work work. His architect's job is just to give us what it's going to look like, mm -hmm. uh, which was the first step is the most, I guess, the most important step at this point. Right. And then we can figure out what the timeline is going to be at that point. Yeah. He's the one who's going to give us the timeline, I guess. Yeah, and what what he does is is he does the actually recommends on on all the people that do the actual changes and the building and everything. He he brings he brings in everybody as far as what needs to be done. So um, it's a complete package. He uh, gives Mr. you the plan, Mr. Chairman. Again, just to interrupt, Patricia, ring me again, City Attorney. Uh, just to uh, on the question earlier, the renderings are still uh, projected to be turned in in April. Um, and okay. so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll remain on track despite the, the delay with uh, getting the contract finalized. Okay. So hopefully you. we Thank can you. get them done. Yeah. We're, we're all committed to the renovation. So it's something that we're really looking forward to. Yeah. So, and everybody in the city commission is on board on this thing. Good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. So any other questions? And if you have any any input at this point that you would like to communicate with me, and uh, and usually I communicate that with the city manager and the mayor as well, so just send it to me. Uh, if you, you feel you need for me to have any knowledge on anything, any input, send it to me. So we're open for any recommendations. Okay. Sir. If there's no other thing, then... Uh, I think we entertain a motion for adjournment, being that we don't have a. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Has been moved and second for adjournment. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against, same sign. We're adjourned. Thank you very much.